Here we go. Rod Hull and Emu. Oh, that's a cracker, eh? Except I think we've got more chance of sticking our hand up a bird than you have. <laughs> Two pints, you prick. Ah, Jack Victor. Hi, right, Tom. How's your plans coming along then? Ah, uh, good. That's the registry booked. So keep Friday free. There'll be about ten of us or so. That's if you're coming. <laughs> oh, of course we're coming. Over there, boy. You going a wee honeymoon? Not back to my house, lay low for a week. Smashing. I've heard it's lovely this time of year. <laughs> Grub. Well, you'll have to have a do. Because I'm not putting my good tie on unless I'm getting gravy down it. <laughs> oh, well, that's his quandary, isn't it? He can't decide between the Labour Club or here at the Clansman. That's right. <clears throat> See, the Labour Club is looking for 4 50 ahead, whereas Bobby, for pie and beans, is looking for a pound ahead. Hmm. Oh, well. You've made your mind up already. <laughs> pie and beans all round in the convivial atmosphere of the clansmen. Ah, very glam, Tam. Who's doing your cake? Greg's the baker's. <laughs> no, that would cost money. <laughs> Eyes us baking it. Oh, here. Oh. On to more serious matters. <clears throat> the appointing of a best man. Ooh. Victor? Yes, Sam? It's no you. <laughs> <laughs> you are a candidate, but you're a, you're a big bottle merchant. Your ass would collapse before the speech. Robbie, shall I tell a smashing joke? Well, on you go, then. <laughs> Aye. My mate Tam, he's so tight-fisted, he dropped a pound note one time. And when he bent down to pick it up, he dropped a pound coin one time. And it hit him oh. on the back of the heap. Sit down, Victor. Well, now to Jack. I've known you a long time, Jack. You certainly have, Tam. But it's no you. Oh, Jesus. No, no. You drag the ass out of everything. But we did by the time you finished, Tom. You're a cheeky bastard. The floor is yours, away you go. Hey, there's my pipe. Um. Unaccustomed, eh. Uh, what does he say again? Unaccustomed as I, as I am to. I've bought myself there. <laughs> so, it's Bobby! Bobby? I'm not doing the pies for any less than a pound a head. <laughs> well, the natural choice is Winston. Fourth, eh? Jeez, oh, I'm flattered. Fourth. Actually, you're fifth. He asked me, and I tell me, piss off. Well, in spite of myself, I'm still honoured. So tell me, what exactly are the duties of the best man at a miserable bastard's wedding? <laughs> well, apart from the speech, you've got to look after the ring. <laughs> That's a good one. Winston looking after Tam's ring. <laughs> Winston. Tam's. Ring. Got the ring. Yep. I think he's a look at it. Is that an old ring? Oh, yes, an old ring. It's his old wedding ring. Yeah, dirty bastard. <laughs> well, a ring's a ring. A bit of Judah glitter, that'll be brand new. <laughs> Let me get this clear. You want me to hand over to you and your new wife an old ring that your ex-wife threw at you for shagging some lassie after buses? <laughs> <laughs> a ring is an unbroken circle, Winston. It has no story, no history. Oh, well, it does if I tell Francis. I'm no doing that. Uh, Winston's right. A wedding ring's an important thing. Get your ass down that high street and buy that lassie a new ring. Yeah, carpet bagger. Oh, Where's the sentiment, you shit pot? Tom, glad upon you. This best man thing. Can't do it. I'm going to do it in social and trade in morning. 